Believe it or not, I am playing Metroid on my PSP 3000. Now I'm going to show you how you can put old games like Metroid on your PSP from the Nintendo all the way to the Game Boy Advanced. Here's how. Now unlike my chess playing robot, this actually does work. Now when you go to your system information, it should say, you know, version 5.03. Well mine says let me just cover up my MAC address. Don't want any pedophiles trying to find me. But uh, system software 5.03 Chicken R2. Now, mine says Chicken R2 because that is a custom firmware. Now, you're going to need a custom firmware if you want to play all these emulators. Now, these are all my emulators that can play games. Like, this is the Super Nintendo emulator. Game Boy Advance emulator, NES emulator, Game Boy Color emulator, and 64 emulator. Now the 64 emulator does not work on PSP 3000s. I don't know why, it just doesn't. But um, I'm going to show you how to put those other emulators on your PSP. Now first we're going to have to put that firmware I just showed you. So we're going to make your PSP, PSP's firmware version chicken R2. Now, before, well, if you have version 5.03, well, if you don't have it, get it. You can get that off the PSP thing, PSP website. Now, before you can do anything, you're going to have to download WinRAR. Well, install WinRAR. Um, that's just the first link in my description. Now, after you installed that, you're going to go to the second link in my description, and you should hit this page. Now, you're going to go all the way down to where it says download, which is a little green arrow sticking into a, a box. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to show you how I downloaded it. But all you do is you download it and you save it to where you want. And um, I saved it to here. Now, if you have WinRAR set up or installed, you should see chicken.rar with little books and a belt strapped around the three books. And that means, well, you're ready. If it's like a zip or something, well then you're going to need WinRAR. You didn't do, you didn't install WinRAR, right? What you're going to do is you're going to double click on it. Yeah, it's going to bring you up with this window. Now, at the bottom, there's an H bin. Before we do anything, we're just going to copy that H bin. So you're just going to do a Control C on it, or you can right click and say copy, whichever you prefer. Then we're going to go to uh, where, well, you're going to connect your uh, PSP and you're going to you're going to connect the USB cable to your PSP and whatever pops up as, like, mine pops up as like a removable disk I. So we're going to go to removable disk I now. Now mine pops up as removable disk I. Now right when you click on you know, your removable disk, whatever, you're going to stop. You should see PSP, music, picture, video, MP root, whatever. If you have something close to that, stop. Then you're going to paste the H bin into the, into the root. Now this is called the root with uh, you know, the PSP, the picture and stuff. Don't go into the PSP folder. Do not. Just save the H bin or just paste it into this place. 
So mine's already pasted here. And then after that, you're going to go into a PSP, where, you know, it says game, system, theme, all that stuff. Now, there should be a thing called a photo, all caps. If not, just make one. So you just go to make new folder, then capital P, capital H, capital O, capital T, capital O. Then you're going to double click in there. Now, it should be empty for you. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to that little window here, and you're going to get the slim folder. You're going to double click the slim folder, and it should pop up with the uh, chick hen. Now, you're going to copy that chicken folder here. You know, just do control C or right click it, whichever you prefer. Then you're going to go to photo and just paste it into there. Now, mine's already pasted in here. Now, what you're going to do is, uh, well, first it gives you five pictures. It gives you, it gives you four GIFs and one TIFF. Now, uh, for this to work, um, we're going to need four more GIFs. So what I would do is I would just click one of the photos, copy it, and then paste it four times. Then rename them. Now, how you're going to rename them is this way. Now, all these fo all these four photos here, they they say chicken A, chicken B, chicken C, chicken D. Those four photos you just copied and pasted. You're going to make them. You're going to follow the alphabet. So, and then you're going to finish the alphabet E F G H, and then stop. So after you have four, after you have eight photos and one TIFF image, you're gonna go back and you're gonna go ahead and disconnect your PSP. All right, now the fun part begins. Now you're gonna go to your photo and you're gonna go to Memory Stick. You're gonna click Memory Stick. Then you're going to wait for that chicken little image to load, then you're going to click it. Now, after you click it, just copy exactly what I do. You're going to wait for each image to load, then scroll down. Now, mine froze. So, uh, it's a trial and error thing, so it might freeze, it might not. But it may take you 20 tries, it may take you only two. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do this again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try that again. Now we're just gonna follow the, as each picture loads. And it froze again. We'll try it again. All right, third time's the charm. Now I'm gonna use a different method because there's two methods to do this. So we're going to try that other method, see if that works. Now we're just going to wait until this thing disappears. So it just disappear and we're going to go scroll all the way down. And that should happen. Now when that happens, it should reset itself. Now, if you want to check to see if it if it actually uh, worked, you're going to go to your system information. We just cover my MAC address. And it should say 5.03 chicken R2. If, that, if that's what it says, then it worked. Now, now you can play emulators on it. Now in my next video, I'm going to show you how to download emulators like these onto it. Which is just part two of my video. Uh, it took me a while to make this movie, so I, I would just like if, you know, you can rate it and leave a comment and subscribe to me. Now, if you have any questions, go feel free to comment or email me through YouTube. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go get some more.